Good morning, everybody, and whoever is uh, stopping right now to listen to this crazy lady talk again, uh, thank you so much. I'm very grateful. And uh, today I would like to talk about uh, one great characteristic of the human being, which is honesty. Um, personality characteristic that sometimes people lack, people miss but that, uh, in my opinion, would be the key of a very strong personal growth and at the same time, the key to let any kind of relationship truly works. So, I mean, among family, uh, among workers, you know, um, your colleagues at work, friends, lovers, honesty. Um, I love uh, philosophy. I was studying philosophy and one of the greatest philosophers of all the time, a man who actually made the history of the humanity, is uh, Socrates. Uh, he was a lovely gentleman from uh, Greece and uh, as probably many of you know, he was used to say, one of his uh, most famous quotes, he was used to say, much more I learn, much more I discover my ignorance. This is um, so true. This is a quote that is still going on. This is a, a quote that still teaches us so much about ourselves and about the others. That's why I remember I was 14 years old and I totally embrace uh, this uh, uh, viewing of life and I become brutally honest with myself and as well with the people around me. I lost many people many, many people that I truly love, I lost them. Because uh, sometimes, um, like us, sometimes we are not able to accept the truth of ourselves and we prefer to avoid, to escape. At the same time, other people try to defend themselves, you know, no, nothing wrong with that, but it's very hard to face the truth most of the time. So I lost many, many people that I loved. I lost friends, I lost lovers. But for me, it was the deepest act of love and respect, to be honest. And uh, yes, many, many people still today, they told me that I'm brutally honest, brutally honest. But it's fine, I can take it, no, it doesn't matter. And uh, at the same time, I learn, you know, uh, to be humble. Of course, the first reaction that you have of it when someone is telling you something that is actually uh, not really your truth or not really the meaning that you want to put in that word, in that conversation, in this action, we suddenly and immediately try to defend ourselves. You know, we feel attacked. But I truly learn, especially with meditation, just to breathe in and breathe out, to listen. Because if, especially a person who truly loves us and respects us, is telling us something that maybe we don't really see about ourselves, about our way to talk, to behave, to relate to other people, probably there is an inner truth there, something that uh, we can get inspiration to grow and uh, uh, to learn. So, and it's even your chance uh, most of the time, and it happened with my parents to say, listen, sorry, dad, maybe, sorry, mom, sorry, or to my sister, sorry if I give you this uh, uh, sensation, sorry if what you see, it was this, actually it wasn't my intention, uh, but I apologize because if you felt that speech, that word, that behavior uh, in that way and, and maybe hurt you, sorry about that, it was my intention. So it really, you know, create uh, the true basis of a good relationship. We know that is a is a common is common sense. Everybody knows how much important is an open and honest a dialogue, uh, but sometimes uh, this is not happening. And when it's not happening with other people, it's because we actually are not uh, truly honest with ourselves. And I'm gonna share this. It's quite personal, and many maybe of you will not even understand. But it's fine. I can take this risk. Um, I am Catholic. Uh, um, I don't practice so much, but I have a true uh, deep faith that I live in my own way because, yeah, I grew up in a Catholic family. They passed me the faith. But then at a certain point in my life, I question it. 
I questioned everything, especially studying philosophy. So it was amazing, outstanding, um, you know, to find God and the experience of God, of these uh, essence uh, that is everywhere in the universe to find inside of me, but actually question it, actually uh, trying to find him, always question, it, question him, you are not there. And uh, especially studying Nietzsche, you know, that he was denying everything, even the reality. So I found God, God, I found God in my life in a very personal way, not because I've been tough. And uh, what I love about my religion, I mean, does a good service for me, helping me to be honest with myself, is the sacrament of confession. And uh, many, many people, they don't understand this. And um, it's pretty fair, you know, because maybe they just see the person who is in front of you and you think, why well, I need to talk about my sins or my personal stuff with a stranger. But for me, it's, uh, it's very deep, very deep. Probably I will not be able to truly really express. In that moment, beside I have this constant dialogue through meditation with God and the universe and myself in the morning, uh, through the confession, it's like I'm saying all these things loudly. I am admitting them. And uh, I never took a confession like I'm going to go there and cry, oh, I did this, I did that, you know, I'm a woman uh, who loves lust and luxury and uh, whatever, all this stupid thing. No, I always been honest. I remember the first time I take a confession here uh, in, uh, in England, I wasn't there to going, oh, they do me this, they do me that, so I want to kill them, my daughter, forgive me. No. I was just uh, stating very strongly to the priest, I am this, I am that, I am this, I am that. You know, very straightforward sentence. And uh, I remember this priest, you know, just uh, removed the curtain and he was like, darling, I don't really know what to tell you. You have such a deep understanding of yourself or your bad side of your dark side that I'm just a speechless. You are teaching me how to make a right confession. And I was like, oh God, I came here actually for a spiritual direction. <laughs> but just to let you understand what I try to do every day with myself, I try to be truly honest, dark side good side, uh, bad action, good action, uh, wonderful feelings, nasty feelings. Just try to be honest with yourself and embrace you truly are. It will help you even to work on that dark side that you want to improve, increase. That's why I think it's very important as well to be honest in the relationships. Yes, it's true. Most of the people, they don't have our own way to see life. Maybe what we consider the right way to act, the right way to behave, is not the same measure, let's say, that of another person. So what I consider maybe offensive was I consider hurting, maybe for the other person is not. So it's very important to be honest. And that's why it was very difficult for me to overcome, uh, to be abandoned from the person who was, who was supposed to be my future husband. I didn't have many men in my life. I didn't allow too many human beings to enter in my life. I cannot even count them, you know, in one hand, which is good for me because I truly want to keep myself for the best and to, in a kind of way, protect myself and my body, my soul, my heart. But with this guy, you know, he fights so much to get me and uh, probably since now is the only man who I truly, truly love. And uh, when he asked me to marry him, I was shaking it. I didn't have a good example of marriage. I mean, from my grandparents, yes, they were amazing, but I was having a lot of sufferance watching my parents' experiences. So I was like, you know, no marriage, no for me, if you want to have a baby even now, but no. Uh, at the end I decided, so everything was ready. It was Macedonia from Macedonia, wonderful country, by the way, amazing country. And, um, you know, everything was ready and uh, we were um, having our relationship on the cruise line. And at some point he left the cruise line and he moved uh, back in Macedonia because we needed to prepare everything, the wedding, you know, he needed to finish to rebuild the house, his own house for us. I needed to meet in person, not just uh, uh, via video, via Skype, my uh, uh, grand grandmother and father-in-law and um, 
that's it. I was so happy, so excited. You know, I was uh, almost starting to think about this kind of life, to be a wife, to be a mom in a foreign country. Uh, I truly, truly believe it was the right step for our life. But then, unfortunately, he did the biggest mistake of our relationship. He was dishonest. I already understood that in our relationship in the last month before he abandoned me that something was wrong because I truly experimented when something is wrong with your man, even the way he's making love with you is different. You can feel it, guys, you cannot hide. Even the way you touch us, you kiss us and you hug us is different if something is wrong. But you're always trying to avoid any kind of conversation, which for me is so important in a relationship. And uh, I was just, okay, maybe it's just a moment, maybe just nervous, you know, we are going to do a big step. But anyway, the truth was that from a day to another, he abandoned me. He abandoned me and uh, he wasn't honest. He didn't have the courage to look at me in the eyes and tell me, you know, darling, I don't have any feeling anymore. Or I actually, I just meet after many, many years, uh, my first love. And I think I still having uh, feelings for her. And because this is what happened, I discovered many months after that now he's married with this girl, is the first love of his life and he, have, and he has a beautiful daughter and I'm happy for him. But at the beginning, I was very upset, upset, not because he changed my feelings for me. I mean, this can happen. And if we love someone, we need just to let them free, you know. Okay, you just broken my heart in all the way possible and I'm bleeding inside. But, you know, I love you if you don't have any feeling for me, if you don't want to be with me anymore, I just need to leave you free. And uh, the fact that he was so egoist to not look me in the eyes and be honest, it really affected me a lot. It took me more time to recover because uh, I wasn't upset for the fact that he cheated on me and abandoned me. I wasn't upset because he was not honest. So even if you think that um, you can hurt someone, you can hurt the person that you love. I really suggest you to be honest. You are doing the true act of love to be honest with your person. Really, truly, men around the world, women around the world, always be honest. If you truly love someone, if you truly uh, want to not hurt them, hurt them in a way that it will take them so long to recover, be honest with yourself and with them. Thank you again for listening to this crazy girl. <laughs>